It's a rugby league career which has captured the hearts and minds of fans across Queensland. And this week, Jonathan Thurston will run out for his final match. In the first of a series of special reports, tonight those lucky enough to have played alongside him give a rare insight into the league legend. Here's Veronica Eggleton. It's hard to think of the Cowboys without Jonathan Thurston. Looks on the inside, finds Jonathan Thurston! But it might not have been if it weren't for the presence of Matt Bowen. The chance to play alongside the man nicknamed Mango proved too great to resist. You know, I get goosebumps every time I hear it, you know, when you know, coming from... <laughs> Yeah, you know, one of the world's best players, if not the world's best player. Their combination quickly became formidable. What the combination that is! Thurston and Bowen. Some said it was instinctive, almost telepathic, but Bowen knew better. He'd sort of lock eyes with me on the field and, and, and did the same, and he'd, you know, he, he would know what I wanted, you know, either a kick or inside pass and different things. And, you know, we're, as I said, we, we trained a lot for it um, and in games it's just, you know, it, it, it come off most times and uh, look pretty good. And just like Bowen drew Thurston to North Queensland, JT soon found himself a draw card. How much a part of playing with JT was your decision to move to North Queensland? Yeah, it played a pretty big part to be honest. Um, I was coming back from injury and I knew I had to be surrounded by good players to, um, I guess, reach potential of being a good player again and um, you know part of that was JT and Matty Bowen and um, without a doubt um, playing in a side with JT has made me a better player and gave me four years the back end of my career that um, yeah it was just I wouldn't have had it, for, it wouldn't have been for him. Gritty and determined there's no questioning Thurston's competitive nature on field but ask those closest to him and it doesn't end with the full-time whistle. He hated losing so we had this tournament in the Obviously in the dressing room, one time after training, I was number one and you know, Paul right, right here, he was here as well. And John I would, would play for that game. He just had a shower after training and he was, you know, didn't want to leave till I think it left here about six, you know, seven o'clock at night. He was that, you know, sweating and because um, he won that number one spot. Beyond that though is the co-captain's care for his teammates, which sets him apart. When Alex Aliasala passed away here at the club, I really saw Jono care about our younger players that were really struggling at the time. And I just never ever forget the, the compassion that he showed those younger boys. So probably not a moment, but there's it, it's, it's probably a length in time. And, um, that's when I just thought we've got a real special bloke, a real special leader on our hands in JT. A special leader who has made an indelible mark on North Queensland's next generation. He's gone above and beyond what I guess he ever had to do as a rugby league player. He's probably set, set the example for um, yeah, a lot of other players coming through. Not to mention a legion of faithful fans. Uh, wherever you go, everyone wants to meet Jonathan Thurston. Oh, do you know Jonathan Thurston? Um, so, you know, he's he, he still a, a talk of the community. And will be for many years to come. Veronica Eggleton, 10 Eyewitness News. The Cowboys' only Premiership winning coach has revealed it was his first meeting with Jonathan Thurston that gave him the confidence to take the reins of the NRL franchise. As part of our special series to Farewell JT, Paul Green spoke candidly about the star's retirement. And as Veronica Eggleton reports, it may not be the only leadership change for the club. When Paul Green signed on to return to North Queensland, he was a rookie NRL coach with a star player to convince. Yeah, you know, the first meeting he was a bit sort of reserved, I think, you know, finding out what I was all about and so forth. But um, he was also really open to the things that I was suggesting. Thankfully, first impressions rang true. Jonathan Thurston giving Green a vote of confidence. Yeah, you know, I was a rookie coach as well, so it was important. You know, I got guys like him on board with where I wanted to go. And, and as I said, he was been supportive then, and he's been supportive ever since. So, what is it like to mentor one of the best minds in the business? He doesn't say a lot up front, but then once he's processed it, he, he generally um, comes up with something pretty good. Matt Scott's been by Thurston's side for almost every moment. Already friends, they were made co-captains in 2011. We've never said, well, you do the toss and you run out first or this or that. It just, it just sort of happens. And I think um, we're both happy for each other to take the lead when, when we want to or when we feel like we need to. Thurston leading from the front. That's the, that's the advantage of Jonathan Thurston in your side. Those sort of plays don't happen, obviously, if he's not there. And putting his body on the line. 
time. His gifts hit late after he, he kicks or passes, and um, he's just been able to do that and deal with it his whole career, regardless of the, the situation or how he's feeling. Though he's likely to laugh off any rough treatment. <laughs> With that larrikin grin, the playmaker has become the poster boy for North Queensland, but that trademark chuckle and charismatic confidence masks a shyness that's helped define his position in the game. You know, we've seen how dominant he is and confident on the footy field, but, um, you know, I went to New York with him a few years back and, you know, trying to see him order in a, you know, three Michelin star restaurant or something like that, when he's, he's out of his comfort zone, it's, he's a totally different person. Scott also uncomfortable with the prospect of leading the Cowboys without JT. Yeah, Michael Morgan's probably the natural progression in, in terms of captaincy. And, um, you know, I, I wouldn't be against um, handing that to him next year, uh, even though I'm still there, because, you know, I'll still have um, my usual role and, and then I can just help him. That's a decision still pending. First, there's a captain to farewell. We'll look back in years to come and talk about Jonathan and Thurston, you know, how great a player he was in our game and to have played a part in that, you know, that's probably um, what I'm happy about and hopefully I've helped him in, in some area. Veronica Eggleton, 10 Eyewitness News. Jonathan Thurston's known for his mischievous nature, but it was that very character which nearly cost him his NRL career. Tonight, we can reveal the Cowboys' power brokers who stood by their captain as the board called for his contract to be terminated. Veronica Eggleton continues our farewell special to JT. On the NRL fringes at Canterbury, Jonathan Thurston didn't quite fill out his Bulldogs jersey. And his jumper was way too big for him and uh, he was, there wasn't much of him, but boy, he could play. North Queensland proved a much better fit. In 2005, his first year in the North, Thurston played Origin, claimed his first Dallier medal and took the Cowboys to the grand final, albeit unsuccessfully. It's hard to describe, you know, it just feels like we're at a funeral, it's, it's that bad, you know. I don't think even he would have expected anything like that, it was a, an incredible 12 months. That season thrust Thurston firmly into the spotlight, a position he struggled to settle into. That lovable larrikin in the early days was never too far for mischief. It came to a head in 2010 after a night out in Brisbane and was arrested when he allegedly wrestled his friend onto the road and landed on a taxi. Captain of North Queensland, Thurston's contract was on the verge of being torn up. We were told to sack him, but uh, Peter Parr and I insisted that that wouldn't happen. Parr and I were going to leave the club if they sacked him. That was a really valuable lesson he learnt that night, um, that it would be silly to get rid of him uh, over that, and we just disagreed with it. That night, Thurston spent here at the Brisbane Watch House proved a turning point as the then 27-year-old finally came to accept his responsibilities as a role model. He was really, uh, I suppose, rattled by how much publicity it got and how disappointed the community was in him. He'd sit with me and say, I want to be a better person. I really want to be a better person. A vow he kept as fatherhood and marriage to wife Samantha shifted his priorities. The, the biggest single thing I've, I've loved about him is the fact that he wants to be better in every aspect of his life. On field, there remained one elusive final hurdle until October 4, 2015. <laughs> bringing home North Queensland's first premiership and lifting a weight off his shoulders. For Jonathan, that had been the most pressure he'd carried, I thought, in his career, so uh, to get that done was, was very special. Victory confirming his place as one of the game's greats. His voice is heard by so many and respected by so many, from children through to grandmothers. A voice and a laugh that soon won't echo as much around the Cowboys' hallways. Yeah, you always know he's in the building, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll, miss, um, I'll miss hearing him from a distance before I actually see him. Veronica Eggleton, 10 Eyewitness News. 
As we prepare to farewell Jonathan Thurston, 10 News can tonight show you never-before-seen footage of the young talent way before he made his mark on the game. In our special series on the league legend, Veronica Eggleton goes back to the beginning to a kid who was written off as too skinny and too small. Even in undenions, Jonathan Thurston was a cut above the rest. That's it, go son, go! Showing early signs of his defensive tenacity and those trademark cut-out passes. Yeah, he was he was very tiny, you know, but like he had a heart, you know, that was the size of Farlap. South Sunnybank Rugby League Club was his junior stomping ground. Mark Beaumont coached Thurston from under 11s and spotted his leadership qualities at a young age. He was a leader of men, and you know, he ended up obviously, you know, his captaincy through his, you know, through his career. It was here a young JT would practice kicking goals long into the night with just one light left on in the clubhouse, chasing perfection that would. Serve him well in the big moments of his career. As a 12, 13 year old kid, he was kicking goals from the sideline, so to see him in NRL do it, it doesn't surprise me at all. The NRL and the Bulldogs eventually came calling. Steve Price instrumental in luring Thurston South. To look back and think that day in Newcastle in the dressing room that he'd go on to be probably one of our greatest players ever is, is sort of hard to fathom. What followed has become part of rugby league folklore. In 2004, Price was ruled out of the NRL grand final, making room for JT. Canterbury won, and at full time, Thurston handed his premiership ring to his injured captain. And we did it for him. I gave my ring to him because he's the best bloke on this earth. I was a bit embarrassed because uh, I knew he'd worked just as hard as I had, and it was hugely humbling, but uh, I couldn't believe it. I mean, he was only 19 or 20. Um, wouldn't have known whether he was going to get another opportunity, but it didn't matter. Character, which was eventually rewarded with honours for his state and country, Thurston quickly made his mark in Marone's camp. We went to the Story Bridge to have dinner with the team and a couple of drinks and stuff at the emerging squad and uh, he missed the bus back to the hotel. But when we got back to the hotel, he was knocking on my door, just let me know he was right there. So, yes, he's always been playful, Dolan. Playful, yes, but gutsy too. Oh, gee giving his all for Queensland 37 times. One of his grittiest moments came last year as a shoulder injury wounded the champion. He's never one to complain about pain. He's a tough rooster, as everyone knows, and he was wincing and he was really, really sore, so I knew something pretty serious was wrong. Still, he rose above to level the series in what would become his final State of Origin game. He it through the post. Unbelievable. I remember him with a, a big beam and smile, lots of energy, a great competitor, Editor and one of the real team guys that all the other blokes love to play with. Not bad for a kid from Sunnybank. They weren't going to give him a go, um, which is quite scary to think that we would have missed out on seeing a Jonathan Thurston. Veronica Eggleton, 10 Eyewitness News. It's hard to imagine, but there are just 80 minutes left in Jonathan Thurston's glittering rugby league career. As he prepares to play his final match, we look at the legacy he leaves behind and the bright future which awaits. Veronica Eggleton has our final tribute to JT. During his illustrious career, Jonathan Thurston has never been far from an award ceremony. To be recognised for the work I do in the community, uh, far outweighs the things I've achieved on the field. A proud Indigenous leader, Thurston's community work has become a passion project, changing lives within the NRL Cowboys House. When those students arrive, they are uh, DE uh, report cards. Um, within the space of a year, there are B's and A's now. Dedication, which saw him named Queensland Australian of the Year. To be the Queenslander of the Year, that means that you have enormous responsibility and he got that because of his amazing contribution, not just to what he does on the field, but also off the field as well. And I think you'll see over the coming years uh, that next side of Jonathan Thurston where he'll give back a whole lot more to the community. There'll be plenty of work to be done in retirement, championing the region he's made his home after being appointed to the Tourism and Events Queensland Board. I think it underlines the power that JT has as part of the voice of the North. When he does speak, he might not have a lot to say, but... Uh, people see the passion and the emotion that he speaks with. And people listen. North Queensland deserves a, a new stadium. 
Those six words literally changing the face of Townsville. I mean, you can see the stadium um, coming out of the ground just down there. When he uttered those words, can I use the term, it was choice. It was absolutely brilliant. And I remember seeing um, some of the elected officials shudder a bit. Thurston sparking the political will to build North Queensland a new stadium, though he won't ever play in it. It's going to be wonderful for the local community and and, you know, maybe a statue out there as well for JT. His career defined not just by the big moments, but the little ones too. And Jonathan Thurston, we expect nothing less. Just keep working on what a buzz. He's had plenty of time on the footy field where he seems to be a player ahead of everyone else and he gives everybody plenty of time off the field and I think that's the real mark of a, a great person. But it's at the Cowboys where he's perhaps left his greatest legacy. He's brought real professionalism real credibility and he's brought a brand to our club that's certainly recognised and respected within the game. It's here tomorrow night. Jonathan Thurston will face his final curtain. A sellout crowd set to witness the end of a career which began 16 years and 323 games ago. I said to him the other day, you know, let's don't cry because it's over, let's smile because it happened and will be smiling for a long time to come. <laughs> <laughs> Veronica Eggleton, 10 Eyewitness News.